Hey guys, it's been quite some time since I last did a video on my garden. Things have been a bit um, hectic and really hasn't been much going on in the garden as well. But um, so anyway, here I am. Wanted to give you a brief update what I have in my garden right now. Here, as you can see, is calendula. And it looks like I'm starting to get aphids on here. Like you can see over there, some aphids, <coughs> excuse me, aphids, and I need to get a spray bottle and spray them off. And so this is the first bloom, it's kind of small. But, so here's a size comparison. But from this one plant, you can see here's another bloom right there, and another one right there, and another one right there. This is another plant, but no blooms just yet. And over here is the winged beans. I planted this last year. It produced quite a bit, and then we had a death in the family, so we left. We were gone for a little bit over a month in October of last year. When I came back, it was all dead, dried up, at least, you know. But I knew that it is a perennial, so I figured it would come back and it didn't take long and it started growing again. And so here you can see, I mean, it started producing late last year as well, I think it was. Um, of course, you know, now it's February, but as you can see, got quite a few the beans right here, and right there. And so it's a little slow, but I'm sure as it gets hotter and hotter, it will grow. It hasn't grown very tall. It went, it's gone only up here, whereas before the previous time last year, you can see all this is dried. It climbed pretty high up, even up to here. And I think it even climbed all the way, it climbed all the way up here. Even. You see, if you can see right there is a piece of the old one dried and it's broken off, but that's how how high it grew. So, pretty cool. Pretty neat that it'll come back year after year. And then this pot, it was peach pepper, and the seedling just, I don't know what happened to it. Something was eating the leaves, and it grew back, and then it got eaten again, and now it just completely shriveled up and died. So I'm gonna need to plant another one. Here are peas de grace. No peas yet from this one. Um, and I'm trying to keep it in some filtered sunlight so it won't get the heat. Because now it's like in the, the high, the last week or so, it's just been 80. It hasn't gone up more than that, but still the sun is quite hot. And here is another calendula, or two plants in this pot. Got some green onions, green onions in there, um, sweet potato over here, that is a romaine lettuce, um, I can't remember the variety, the name on the seed packet, but that's a romaine lettuce. And here within this sweet potato pot, I've got a volunteer tomato plant, not sure what tomato it is. I was wondering if it might be the, oh, I can't remember what it was called, but it was like a brownish to, uh, cherry tomato that I had growing last year. I don't know if it's from that or not. Um, so we shall see. And here is a pot of mint growing really well. Um, I had a pot previously when I got back from Tennessee. It was completely dot. It completely died. I don't know what happened. Um, I mean, it, it was still alive when I got back, but then it just started um, like drying up and just shriveling up and dying and died, completely died after I got back. So thankfully my aunt-in-law still had some. I got some more cuttings from her. And so I got, got this one pot here and I got another pot right there growing. And it looks like they're doing really well. And here's my Suriname cherry. 
and it's gotten, you know, it's doing pretty well. No, no fruiting, no flowering on this one. Um, I'll show you in just a second my other Suriname that has flowers on it. Here's the other pot of peas, the grace, and looks like this one's just not doing well at all. Drying up and then a little bit in the back, and I've already harvested. I produced, you know, a handful of peas. Um, I planted this, gosh, um, last year after I got back from Tennessee, so I guess then that what that was early November. But this year the winter has not been very cool at all. It has been very warm. And so they had not been doing so well. And so here you can see is another pod. I haven't picked that off yet. And in the same pod I happen to have a um, green onion growing. And this one is quite thick. I hadn't harvested it in months. And so it got very, very sick. When I finally cut it, I think was it last month, to use it, man, the the diameter of it was just like that thick. I mean, it was really, really thick. But anyway, here is lemongrass. Um, thankfully, I kept a stalk. I had a really huge, huge lemongrass bush growing over there right right in that area but then somehow for some reason little by little it just started dying off and before it did completely I thankfully uh, took a stalk kept it in water and now I have it in the pot and so it's slowly starting to produce here's the one that I originally planted and then here's the two new ones on the sides growing and here's another pot of sweet potato which I really mainly have just for the leaves because this is a very small pot, it's a three gallon. And um, leaves just haven't been all that great. I've been, I don't know, some whatever, like, I don't know what it is, if it's some kind of moth or whatever, that I get tons of these little green, like, caterpillar pillar type. And then they create, they start eating, you see? They start eating the leaves, but anyway. Here's the other tomato pond here, pretty big. So when it starts fruiting, I'll find out what it is. Some more green onions, and here is that other Suriname cherry. And it's kind of, wasn't doing too good. And then I started, I fertilized it and stuff, and it's got some new leaf growth here. And then here's a flower right there. There's a bunch of flowers right there that I haven't opened yet. So interesting that this one looks not so good and yet it's putting out flower blooms. So, yeah. And then a pot of rosemary. Kind of small, but the one that I, that I had before when I got back from Tennessee, it completely died. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Everything else is the same stuff I've had before, um, the chives over here, and um, actually this one, I'm not sure what it is. I don't remember what it is. I know it's, it's um, I mean uh, it's, it's a fruit that I ate, I know, and it just I just left the seeds in here, and this one popped up. I just don't remember what it was. It might be either sugar apple or sour salt. I'm not sure. I'm thinking it might be sugar apple, but because I think I saved the soursop seeds and I didn't put it out here. I just actually saved them. So as it grows bigger, I'll find out. But that's it. Um, hope you all have a good day and I shall see you next time. Bye.